Welcome back to my channel. My name is April Hardiman, and if you're new here, I do videos on tips, tutorials, and I've recently been doing this kind of review series of how I review courses and memberships of equine um, educators with either training your horse, farriers, all different types of equine businesses. Lately, it's mostly been on training your horse and different techniques for that. It's been from horsemanship to top trainers, tips and such. So it's a little bit of, bit of both of like, with starting out and it being more um, professional work, you know, later down and getting that technique down. So it's a little bit a big mixture. But if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button because there'll be some great videos coming out. Today I am reviewing the Rain Cow Horse Training Online. I thought this would be a great one to do, especially right after dressage today online, um, just to see how dif two different disciplines are really promoting their discipline. And you know, there's top trainers from both in each discipline uh, in these um, training platforms, and how they have kind of done it a little differently and there's some similarities so I really wanted to kind of go over that a little bit and then of course I always review this as somebody that would like to eventually do their own course or membership platform um, and eventually I want to kind of really kind of release videos on how do you keep those members for a long time retention um, for your members getting new members and like I said, keeping them. Um, sometimes when people are getting a lot of new members, but then they're losing a lot of members they've already had, then you're putting all this money into creating new members instead of actually keeping some of them. So I like to work on a lot of welcome kits, a lot of onboarding, and kind of creating that relationship so they become lifers or really loyal members. So I'm excited to be coming out with some of those videos shortly. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and dive in and see what I think about Rain Cow Horse Training Online. All right, so as you can tell by it now, we are going to be doing a review on Raid Cow Horse Training Online. So um, I can't remember how I came across this one. I think it might have been a Facebook ad. I might be wrong. I thought this one was great to do. I just did the dressage training uh, on demand or dressage today on demand. One, and I thought it'd be interesting to kind of compare the two because they are both at the $36 a month um, level. And they both have really great trainers from their disciplines with inside the platform. And just kind of compare and see, you know, what, what is one doing that the other isn't doing and maybe how they could kind of learn from each other. Or um, maybe you could see like, oh, I like that from this one and that from that one. And then when you start doing this, um, then you kind of have a great idea of what you want to be doing. So kind of dive in here. Um, let's see. So this is what it looks like as you're getting onto their um, website. You are going to have a great header. I think the website looks really great. They're going to have a couple, like a little sidebar up here um and like looks like you can do virtual coaching but you can do a seven day trial um so you can kind of click in here and um see what's going on with that but after the seven day trial it is going to be 36 dollars a month so that is just something to keep in mind so i'm going to close that out or jump over here um and kind of once you sign in this is kind of looking what your dashboard would look like um, you know, you can add your profile, like uh, it looks like, you know, you're going to have different levels of what type of member you are. So that's really great for creating that whole experience. You can say, you know, what's your level at showing. Um, and then, you know, there's a whole beginner's guide, something to really help with that onboarding process. And what's really great, um, I went ahead in here and you get a lot of, you know, kind of like a welcome sequence email. Um, from Simon Cobb, and then you've got your login information. So all of this kind of comes in once you sign up. These are all emails that I received. I signed up on April 29th, and I've been receiving an email every day since. Um, you know, they've got like how to find your way around, um, how to get access on your phone, which is awesome because that's what I talk about. It's like, how are you going to watch this either at home, on a computer, on TV, which however you can do this and then translate it to it when you go back to the barn. 
Um, so I want you to kind of dive back into here. Um, again, this is kind of a great onboarding process, like I said. Where can you get started? Um, and then how to update everything. You know, it's a really step-by-step -step information, which is perfect. And all those questions about where do I go from here? Now that we know what your account looks in, like, how does it look like when you're starting to search for things and go further in? So on your dashboard too, you can also select by trainers, which I think is an awesome idea. Um, I also kind of like how they can do have like sponsorships and such in here. And then you can see kind of what goes into these. You have the different herd work videos, rain work videos, cow work videos, and then getting a coach. So I'm gonna go into rain work. Um, and then they have video categories over here. Um, it seems like the categories are just kind of the same as what they're called, nothing like really with inside of them. And so then I went into one of the videos for rain work. Um, and then you're gonna kind of see like a preview, seems like, and then you're gonna have a part one, one, and then you're gonna have, you know, more information about it. They've broken it down. So, um, cause some people like to watch videos to learn and some people kind of like to, you know, comprehend what's going on. So even having a little information for that part one is really great. They do a lot like um, what um, Dressage On Demand does, Dressage Today On Demand does and have the related videos down here. And see, and those probably are all within the same category. So yeah, down here. Um, let's just go by selecting a certain trainer and seeing how that looks um, when you select a certain trainer. So then all his videos within that would pop up. Um, and then you can kind of click in here. And then you're gonna have a preview of what's going on with the lesson. And what they're doing is using tabs. Um, some people really like that because it keeps it really nice and clean, even if you have tons of videos. Um, and then you, they even break it down down here in the information. They don't seem to really have too much of like, you know, this is a completed one or any progress on here. And again, it's not a necess necessity, it's just an idea. And that's usually through an LMS system. So it's like, um, you know, a learning software pretty much is to kind of help you with the progression. Um, so you know how far along you are in the course. Um, and it, a lot of times you see that more within courses. So sometimes you may not see it with the memberships, but it does help you like when you come back into it, like where was I at and kind of resume from where you were at if you wanted to do that. Sometimes there's just so many different topics, it doesn't really make sense. Um, you know, you could have it within each category or you could have it within each trainer. It really depends on people that are running the website. Let's see, so then you can kind of go, like I said, you can go into two trainers. Let's do select another trainer, Chris Dawson. So he's got his two videos up. Um, and it seems like they got like really great angles here and explaining he critiques himself. So that's really cool um, to, you know, see. Um, and then you can add this to favorites. So I wonder, cause you could do this on dressage um, today on demand. And I wonder what happens when you add that onto your favorites. I wonder if you go back to your home, if there's a section or back to your my account, if there's a section that shows you where your favorites are. Yep, right here, little section. Um, I really love this My Account, like how it's like a whole user platform. You can put, like I said, your picture. I just love this. It just really makes the experience really great. Um, and then you have that whole beginner guide. Everything in here just makes onboarding so much easier. And I think this will be great for it when they're trying to retain clients or members. Um, and like I said, once you can get to that one year mark with your members, it's almost like they've become a loyal person because you're making those connections um, and you're kind of having like a lifer. Um, once you kind of have like all these really good processes in here, especially onboarding, like when you're coming in here, you don't want to feel overwhelmed. You want to know where to start. Um, there's a lot of great information in here, but where do I start? <laughs> you know, like I'm just going to feel overwhelmed if I don't have kind of, uh, maybe some structure. Some people will do great and they don't need structure and they're coming in here for a very specific thing and they might just leave right after they're getting their very specific thing. I'm in here, I'm, you know, learning all about this and, um, you know, using that seven day trial to kind of review it to see as a user standpoint and then as somebody that builds these, 
what kind of websites, you know, what's going on there. So those are just kind of some things to think about. Um, let's go to videos. So this may be where you can see all the videos. Yeah, so and then you're gonna have, you could see everything. So this would be a lot like how um, Drashash today is set up where you just see everything. Um, and I didn't see anywhere like if they're putting out, how often they're putting out new information. Um, that is always an interesting thing. And I didn't see if they are doing like a group or a forum or such. Um, I may have missed it. I'm still searching around. Um, and that's not a necessity. It's just something to think about. Okay, so here's where the different types of memberships are. You either have the silver membership or the gold membership. Um, so and then that kind of explains what's the differences. So, and it seems like this membership program is also kind of promoting um, podcasts. Um, it does look like some of them, they do use YouTube. Um, which is completely fine. The only thing that gets annoying is like when this pops up and I use YouTube sometimes in our client stuff too. And what is nice about YouTube is it loads really well for people that may not have the best internet. So that is one pro about YouTube. I know some people don't like how the, you know more videos pops up or like the in screen sometimes will show other videos once it's done. Uh, some people don't really like that. Um, cause then they think it's not keeping them, um, you know, focused and watching more videos and then they get off on a, you know, different rabbit hole that's not related to what's going on with inside here. Okay. So here is the podcast. All right. I typed in rank how course online training online, and I don't see anything popping up on the Apple podcast. So not quite sure what's going on with the podcast. Um, you anyway, this might be still like a new feature. Oh, what is this get coached all about? So I've been seeing it a lot on this side and it seems like something they're really promoting, which I think is really great, especially kind of during this period, um, because if some people can still ride their horses, but they can't get a trainer out to their facility or they can't go to their trainer's facilities for coaching, um, then you can kind of send in your videos and even have top trainers, you know, review them. So sometimes even having a different eye, like you might have the same trainer all the time, but you know, maybe you're in a, somewhere you're stuck and just having another eye look at it is really great. So it seems like this is really cool. Um, and it just kind of describes what the benefits are. One video critique is $85, which I don't think is awful. And then you can buy like a three or six video package. So that's really cool. I think that's a great thing to offer with inside your website, um, kind of creates that one-on-one -on -one relationship. So I think that's a really great thing to offer with inside of a, a website like this. All right, and I know I haven't done this on many other membership or course websites. I did it for um, no, the Noel Floyd Masterclass, and I, I think I did it on another one, but I'm not quite sure which one. But sometimes you can kind of come in here and figure out what platforms are using, especially if they're using like WordPress or a third party, it's kind of sometimes easier to tell. If like a developer is in play, then you don't even need any of those third party things. So it seems like from some of their coding that they are using Thrive themes, that's a WordPress. So this is kind of all based off WordPress. And then um, it looks like they may be even using the Word Commerce memberships. And I haven't had a lot of experience with them. Um, you can kind of Google them and kind of figure out more information with how they're kind of set up everything and then how Thrive. I know Thrive seems to be a really popular theme set up and such. I haven't used Thrive myself um, with some of my clients or anything I, I've worked on, but I've heard a lot of great things about it. And then, um, like I said, so it seems like they're combining the two. Um, those are just some options to look into. Um, I don't know for price wise if you're used to those themes and just to know that they have something that will support a membership layout. All right, so that is my quick review on Rain Cow Horse Training. I hope you like it. I'm really, overall, I'm really impressed with this website. Um, I think, it, you know, for the $36, yes, it is a little pricier than some but it is the same price as dressage today on demand. So yes, it is a different discipline that um, they are, but 
um, are they providing like similar value with inside of their disciplines? Um, I think that rain cow horse training, they're providing a really great amount of information um, and that just that homepage alone is really great. How they have like that onboarding process. Um, you know, I'm not quite sure what they're using for some of their video, uh, some of their video posts, like how they're putting up these videos. I didn't kind of go further into the coding and such for that. And overall, I like the layout of ring cow horse training a lot more. Just, it just feels more inviting. There's a lot of uh, navigation everywhere. If I really want to look into something, I can go into either the categories, how it's broken down, or I can go into different types of trainers. I can really find out a lot of information with inside this platform. I like how you can get coached. Um, like I said, I don't know if there is where new information is coming out so often. I think it's really cool how they're doing a podcast. I don't know like if that's just a newer feature and you can't see it just yet. I do like how they list like all their trainers down here and they kind of, I wonder if they all have like a profile or like when you click on the trainers, it goes to their videos. So yeah, and then when you kind of click in here, you'll see that they have a profile. So that's really cool. So you can learn more about them. Um, and then you can come kind of come in here and see their videos and such. So overall, if we had to compare the two with inside the disciplines, you know, inside their own trainers and, you know, understand them, I think you're going to get a ton more value out of a website like this. You're going to have a lot more of experience. You're going to feel more connected to the trainers, to whether or not you're going to get coached. There's a lot of things going on with inside of this website. When you go onto like dressage today, demand on demand is there's tons of videos on there and it's great. But the organization, I know there's a little filter at the top can get a little overwhelming and like you could be scrolling forever. You don't know if there's any new information, but you don't know that here either. Um, you don't see the profiles on those dressage trainers. So for if you're in dressage, whatever, no big deal. You understand who those trainers are, but if you're new, kind of understanding their background could really help you. So those are just some things to think about and I just love pointing them out. And you know, there's always pros and cons to every one of these training websites. And it's just what's gonna what what's gonna make the user happy, and what's gonna make the person that are you know that's making these websites. What are the pros and cons that they want to make sure that they're, you know, providing? Because it's there's some other things that you know it's not on the front end that make your decision on whether or not you should use a certain platform. It could be like, can I take multiple payments? Um, can I easily change the way that this person is paid for a certain membership, or do I have to go in and say, okay? You have to refund it, then you have to check out again. Like, is that process like that, or is it very smooth where I can just easily go and change it? Those are some things you also have to think about when you're doing that. And those are some things I just can't go through over on this front end of things. So, but yeah, I hope you like this video so I don't go too far off onto the ta tangent. And I'm hoping you like these series. Um, with everything that's going on right now, it seems that having a virtual way of learning and becoming a better horseman and um, maybe you are in a certain discipline but now you want to really learn about the other discipline just because maybe you're curious because i'm curious about learning about different platforms you know different different disciplines um or maybe you want to see okay how are they doing it and then maybe i could take it over to mine and see if that would make my members really happy so those are just fun things to kind of mill over uh, all right guys i hope you like that review of rain cow horse training online i really think what they have set up is really awesome and you know what definitely what that discipline needs i mean i really like that discipline um i've um, done a little bit of cutting not really too much of the working horse down the rail and such but even though i would love to do that <laughs> maybe i'll get a chance in texas but if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click that bell button because you'll get notified when a new video comes out. And